One of the most impressive discoveries for crocodilians is the saltwater crocodile skull from Cambodia. With the following measurements, it is truly an impressive specimen. However, not much is known about the animal the skull comes from. All we know is that the croc was killed in Cambodia during the 1800s, and the skull is now housed in the Paris Museum. It has long been suspected that this crocodile's length was around 23 feet given the immense size of the skull, but it has been speculation at the end of the day. However, within the past year, I have seen two sources which claim to have discovered the identity of this huge skull. The first one I'll discuss is from a post I saw on Facebook. A user found a book from the 1800s which describes a giant crocodile being hunted in Cambodia. The title of the book is On Hiver a Cambodge, and written by Edgar Boulanger, a traveler and hunter who visited Cambodia from 1880 to 1881. In the book, it is explained that while hunting in a river, a large crocodile which measured 6 meters was seen basking along the riverbank. The reptile was sleeping soundly. We can say it, for his legs as large as two plates, were clinging to the sand under the embrace of formidable claws. As they approached the crocodile, an elephant gun was used to shoot at the beast. It was said that the bullets hit the reptile in the neck, and the way the crocodile reacted was said to be violent. His jaws, a meter long, closed and opened twice in immense convulsive yawns. We heard his saw teeth rattle with a creaking sound which chilled us with terror. His huge tail beat the river and flooded us. That was all. The monster was dead. Once the body of the crocodile was examined up close, the tail was chopped off with an axe, and the body was taken. The meat of the crocodile was offered to the locals to have for a feast. However, it was requested that in exchange, the head of the crocodile and its claws be kept by the hunters. With a length of around 6 meters, this truly was a large animal. It would make sense if the skull in Paris did come from this animal, especially since it was claimed the skull of this animal was taken. However, I have seen another source that I believe is more likely to be tied to this giant skull. On March 31st of this year, I received an email from a crocodilian enthusiast named Jacob Wells, which detailed the capture of a very large saltwater crocodile caught in Cambodia. According to Jacob, quote, I was put in touch with a historian who worked for the museum. She wasn't familiar with the skull, but she did know of the histories of French exploration from the 1800s, and she believes it came from the exploration of Auguste Pavie in 1882. Auguste Pavie was a French explorer who lived from 1847 to 1925. In the book the historian is referring to is titled Mission Pavie. The book states, quote, The largest crocodiles aside as having been captured or killed in these regions are the ones taken in Bentry in 1870, which measured 7.2 meters and another 7.5 meters, brought killed in 1882 to Monsieur Ferez, representative of the French protectorate in Phnom Penh. This enormous reptile, which I saw, filled the canoe in which it was brought. He had devoured a monk after capsizing his boat near Kampong Luang. The Cambodians of the country, who had known him for a long time and respected him as an evil genius, had then hired foreign money and Namides who had succeeded in ridding them of him. His head, offered to Monsieur Levière de Vieres, is today in the collections of the museum. Although the information here does not definitively tie this crocodile to the pear specimen, I do believe it's likely this is the origin of the huge skull. Not only is the crocodile of exceptional size, this account states the skull was given away to the museum. It seems oddly specific to me. Still, as the origins of the skull is still up in the air, I'm hoping we get more information soon. It seems that Cambodia has another large saltwater crocodile that is well known too. During the 1980s, it was said that a killer crocodile with a length of 21 feet was put down after supposedly killing two children. Given the immense size of the crocodile, I would not be surprised if this monster was over 20 feet. The skull of this crocodile is supposedly in the Apaihu mini zoo, but it is unknown what happened to the rest of this crocodile's body. In fact, little is known about this giant in general. Given the fact that this skull and this crocodile have very little information tied to them, if anyone has any information on these crocs, I would love to hear from you. Knowing more would be absolutely great. 
to learn more about the animals you just saw by my book, What We Get Wrong About Crocodilians. It examines claims of giant crocodiles, a World War II massacre, their regenerating tails, alligators and sewers, their record land speeds, and more. The book looks at a variety of subjects many people, including experts, get wrong about these animals, and I desperately wanted to dispel the myths that have persisted so long. Buy What We Get Wrong About Crocodilians in physical or digital formats. Link in bio, comments, or description to buy.